Hello, man. It's Jackie Moonside, like AKA Jack Boy, AKA Jack on the Yak. I'm here live in the place with 806. What's up? So I'm gonna tell y'all the truth and like only truth because like I feel like I'm obligated to do that shit. But like the um, me and Shardy, like we've been together, bro. Like I cut for this girl. Like this is a girl that I still to this day love. I wish the best for this girl. Like I don't know where shit made that. Whatever. Being the reason though, like me and her, like just um, we fell out, bro. She she hacked my fucking iCloud, bro. My iCloud account got hacked, bro. Cause my dumbass, my dumbass love the girl so much. I gave the girl my passwords and everything, bro. Like she was tapped into my iCloud, bro. Like whenever, like she wanted. To. So um, the fact that she had that whole shit, bro, I was in, she caught me off guard, bro. Cause it's like when you're with somebody and you love somebody, though. Everybody has private shit that they keep to their lives, bro. It, 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 don't, it don't matter what it is. It's just private shit. Like, we are adults, bro. We grown-ass people, bro. Like, y'all are all weird in y'all's own way, bro. So, like, at the end of the day, though, like, I loved her and she was the one I slept with at night. She the one that did everything. When, when I went to sleep and I was comfortable, bro, she was the one that made that shit comfortable. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, I didn't think that she was going to do like that. Like, but she did, though. So, so when she, hop she hopped on my iCloud, we split up. One night after that was like war, bro. So she got on my iCloud, she hacked the shit. Man, she had like access to like pictures that I had sent to my baby mama when me and my baby mama were together. Which is like, I don't know, my baby mama would, would threaten me with the shit, but she would never actually press the shit. So she took my baby mama's threats that were screenshotted inside of my fucking, inside of my files and shit. She put that shit out there. She found other shit in there, whatever, whatever. Everybody seen the shit, so y'all know what the fuck it is, but she had my iCloud through it all, bro. And like, um, as far as the screenshots go, like, bro, find somebody that can prove that they're authentic because the screenshots, but everything else, then it is what it is, bro. Like, it is what it is, but just know that, like, it it's only because, like, she had to love me that much, duh. <laughs> like, the only reason people do shit like that is because they love you so much. So like, am I really, am I really what y'all misunderstand? Or is she really misunderstood through, through the whole concept? Like, I love you, shorty. Like, I still love you. You ain't got a shit on me like that. I'm still a star. Either way. But I just want people to know, like, it's, it's okay to be misunderstood. It's okay to be whatever. Like, bro, I was outed. I was whatever they want to call it, bro. But, bro, I've been through the gangsters, most real life scenarios, bro. That, so, y'all can't discredit me, bro. Either way, bro. Shit happened the way it happened. Shit went south, but I still love the girl. I wish best for her. You know. You didn't want to watch. Um. So I had I, I I came across a video that was so graphic. I put it on a backup page that <laughs> I I know you did. I don't yeah. even use that backup page. Maybe more. Than, a plus. Yeah. I don't use it more than two times a year. I I unfollow that one too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it was so graphic. Um, it was, it was graphic. a video of you showing. Look, it was a video of me being a rock star. That's what it was, right? You're talking about me being a rock star in the video, right? You're talking about you show your ass, right? Yeah, that's what rock stars do. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not a rapper, bro. I'm a rock star. Like, y'all gotta understand this shit. Y'all don't understand it, but I do. You know, what I mean? like, and 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 there's times where like I'd be like, am I really, bro? But there's girls that are in y'all's videos that like kick it with me on the regular. Like, we all kick it, we flirt, we kiss, do all that shit. They're not my girlfriend, but like they be in y'all's videos. So, am I really? that gay like and if i was bro does that discredit me that's the question i gotta ask y'all it's like does that discredit me from being a better artist than some of the people y'all support just because of their gangster personas like bro i'm over that whole i'm not a gangster no more bro i'm not nothing like that bro i'm the person that wants to change y'all's life for the best i just want people to like to like feel themselves and feel like they have the rights to be themselves bro so like if what you label me as it's what you label me as, bro, but like, I'm still shining either way, bro. That's what y'all gotta understand. I, I gotta shine either way. So, when that shit happened, bro, it was something that like, listen, my dad, I'm at work with my father. Like, I'm, I, I, like my family hears about this shit, bro. They hit, as soon as this shit hit the news, bro, it was like- The news? The news or whatever, bro. Cause the second you dropped it, bro, my coworkers like, called me, he's like, bro, look at the, look at the 806 one. Everybody I know call me, look at the 806, bro. You gotta get on there. He, they said spam the shit, make sure it gets off there, do whatever. Bro, I'm like, bro, I can't. It is what it is, bro. And, and as much as I wanna be mad at you, bro, listen. 
You a blog site dude, bro. That's what y'all supposed to fucking do. And I'm a rock star. Authentically a rock star. So like, I know y'all got a bunch of gangster rappers and all the, all these pimp rappers and all the love it that I'll do all this P shit. Y'all from the east side. I love that shit. Parkway, shout out to all that shit. But look. I am like Prince, I'm like Michael Jackson, I'm not no Dr. Dre, I'm not no goddamn Slim Shady, I'm not none of that shit, listen, I'm a rock star, baby, <laughs> and y'all can't relate to this shit, like, I don't know what to tell y'all, bro, but my music is different for different people, bro, and if you ain't different, then go listen to Kaylee, go listen to fucking uh, Rugrat, go do what y'all supposed to do for loving, don't fuck with me if you don't like me, bro, like, if you don't like the, I'm authentic, bro, and I support everything that every. Everything that's going on in the city, I support it to the max, bro. Like, I look highly of everybody I just mentioned, Kaylee. I'm talking about, like, uh, Bill. I'm talking about, like, bro, I look highly of these people because they put their shit into that. They put their time into the work, bro. But, like, at the same time, bro, y'all ain't going to put me into their box and make me a normal character, bro. I'm not a normal character, bro. I'm a rock star, for real, for real. Y'all's opinion on that shit don't matter no more. Like, like, ask your girlfriend about me. That's how I feel about it, period. You know what I mean? over it bro like it's just the fact that like i accept who i am bro and i'm not gay neither bro that's the one i want people to know i'm not gay i'm misunderstood sexually fluid what, is <laughs> what, 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 what does that mean sexually fluid bro that means like you you in the moment bro you do whatever the fuck you do but i know like there are rappers in the city that are like the ones that you would put on your top five list that have girls in their videos that i have sex with bro so what does it matter bro am i really that gay like, you might really that gay. This is like, I put facts behind this shit. Like, I don't want to, like, go out there and say all too much about it. But, like, I have said, we're tunnel buddies. Like, I'm tunnel buddies with all y'all, bro. Am I really that gay? <laughs> Let me share this thing, bitches. <laughs> Duh. So, I seen you uh, repost an interview of mine or um, a story of mine. It was a few weeks after I posted it. But, um, I, 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 sometimes I feel like people don't realize that like I post and, a lot of shit, so you're no, eighty percent. I'm joking. The, the eight hundred six is my my account, so I see like all the interactions, right? But it was a yeah. post where like we need to get the the crackhead rappers out of here or something out of oh here, my God, right? I love that shit. That shit was great. I, I can't lie about it, bro. So what made you um, share or, that or, you, or share that? Or what was your take to that? Listen, Squawk is a very intellectual person, bro, and I feel like his opinions matter. In Slayton, bro, his opinions are very well, like, people in Slayton rock with that shit, bro. But listen, I am not a rapper like you, bro, so don't, like, be, like, talking about... You know that um, Amy Winehouse was a drug addict. Kurt Cobain was a drug addict, man. Jimmy fucking Hendrix, bro, like... Are you saying you're better than any of them, bro? Like, Squawk Box, bro, like, be honest. Are you better than Prince? Are you better than any of these... Other people that died of overdoses, like, like, are you better than Mac Miller, bro? Like, get, ask the fans the question. Ask the people that watch these videos the question. Squawk, you're not, bro. So, like, don't judge people for what they go through, bro. Worry about yourself, brother. Like, I like, I like your music. I like you doing some funky shit, bro. You doing what you're supposed to do, bro. But don't be worried about me too much, cause that's gonna fuck up your opportunities. Squawk, don't be hating on me too much. I love you, bro. That's how I got to say about it. Like, period. I got love for Slayton. They think that that person on the corner that's out there being and doing what they got to do to get their high, bro, is anything less than you know. We're humans, bro. Like, you're not better than that person, bro. That could that could very well easily, man. In my situation, in the life I've been through, bro, that's been family members of mine, people that raised me, people that like I love. Like, they're crackheads. You gonna tell me that they ain't great for me and they didn't do good for me, bro? Like, come on, bro. If you was really, 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 really from the streets, bro, you would understand that that's not how it works, bro. You gotta have love for crackheads too, bro. So, smokers ain't shit. Nah, look, smokers change music, bro. The ones that worry about smokers don't. You know what I'm saying? So, I got love for what you got, but, bro, I'm a little white boy. Why are you worried about me, bro? I gotta paint my nails. I do all this da 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 white squad. You are a hood nigga. Don't worry about me. Period. Like, you too. It's a competitive sport, so. That's really where that stems from. It's like, he's like, this little <laughs> No, for real though, have you been to life? Please, man. Shit will make you a fucking drug addict sometimes, so. This is real life perception and shit. Like, I got, I am the voice for people like that, bro. I am the voice for people that have problems in their life that they can't control. The people that, like, it's okay to say that you don't got control of this shit, bro. And everybody that feels like 
We supposed to be in the hood. We supposed to be with it. The whole hood supposed to be winning. I'm gonna follow shit. Like, bro, if you really got shit figured out like that, then why are we all eating? Like, there's all kinds of artists that should be eating off that shit right now. But it's not really like that. Nobody's really no boss like that. Nobody, everybody has selfish intentions, bro. So why are you worried about what I'm doing, bro, when I'm like wishing y'all do good, bro? Wherever y'all at, I hope y'all do good, but I don't pay attention to y'all like y'all do. We was all friends. We was friends. You hear me? Like, mm. It, it all started with that group chat shit. The group chat with all them and shit, like, um, it was something that I thought was positive for all of us, bro, because I'm like, you know, I began, like, ever since I started Juggle Mafia back in the year, you was there when I started Juggle Mafia. You brought me artists, like, Claren, and shout out to Wi-Fi 9, like, everybody that was part of my management when I was first starting that shit, like, like, 806 was a big part of everything that seen me doing that shit, and I've always loved the younger generation and what y'all do, bro, like, I say this shit over and over, like I admire like the art that y'all put into this shit because y'all are just like, like me, y'all are misunderstood, bro. Y'all misunderstood everything that's misunderstood. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know, I just admire y'all, bro. I ain't never been no weird shit with y'all. Like y'all are all little kids to me, bro. Like little kids, I just wanted to elevate and try to help, bro. And I, that's all the intention of anything I ever did with any of them little niggas was just like, bro, I just wanted to see y'all win, bro. I didn't, I'm not mad at y'all for being the way it happened, bro, because me at 18 years old, I probably would be on the same vibe, like, fuck this weirdo. <laughs> Hearing me? Fuck this weirdo. But look, I just wanted to help y'all, bro. Like, I spent a lot of time in this music scene in this city, bro. Like, and I felt like I had a little bit of a voice that could have helped y'all, like, elevate. And it did. Y'all can't lie. It did, bro. Y'all delete the videos off the blog site, or whatever. You, why are the videos still here, bro? Like, it's, it was genuine factors behind it. And I'm not mad at none of them. Like, like, I still think all of them got potential, all of them still doing their shit, I still, I got love for y'all, bro. Y'all don't gotta follow me, I follow y'all, bro. You hear me? Because I, like, I'm solid on my word when I say I believed in y'all, when I met y'all, I believed in you, right? I'm never gonna change that, bro. I'm not, I'm not like y'all, I don't switch over, over the fact of a fucking, uh, a pedal hitting the floor, bro. Like, I'm not that dude, bro, so, I know it, it hit y'all and y'all like, whoa, homophobic shit got going on in y'all generate, whatever it is, bro. I love y'all for y'all's music. I don't give a fuck what y'all look like. I don't give a fuck what y'all do. Follow me or not, bro. I was there to help y'all, bro. And y'all really switched on me at a time where, like, I thought I was gonna, like, like, bro, I thought I was gonna give up music. I was gonna give up my life over this shit, bro. That's how, when I seen those shit hit the fan, bro, and I knew that Jasmine was coming at me like that, I wanted to die, bro. And, like, none of them that I thought were my friends, they all had to let them my friends when we were making, hey, we, we make rap music together, we do whatever. Why aren't we friends anymore when I'm going through real life shit, bro? Like, if one of y'all got it, y'all start splitting y'all's wrists open, like crying like a white boy, like, y'all think I ain't gonna love y'all like that? Nah, I'm gonna love y'all like that, but that's why I know that I'm older than y'all. And I've been through shit in life that's different than y'all, bro. Not to say y'all won't, but like, bro, I love y'all for y'all. Humans, we live experiences, we go through shit, and stars just like me, bro, like, we have flaws to us, bro. So, can a gay artist, um, make it a hip hop or is it possible for a gay up and coming artist? Bruh, I'm gonna say shit that like the whole industry don't even wanna hear out. Like listen, if you're worried about homophobic problems or you're, you're homophobic in any sense, this is the wrong industry to be in, bro. This is a fucking wrong industry. Y'all see that meat meal shit pop up. Y'all see it? This is not coincidental. Like y'all remember back in the day when Birdman and Lil Wayne kissed on that picture and everybody was like, why are they kissing? Bro, this is, this is practices inside of the industry, y'all. This is practices, bro. So if you are a homophobic rapper, you're not gonna make it, bro, because you better be on some gay shit if you wanna make it, boy. <laughs> Period. So like, Lil Nas X, what is his net worth? Go look it up. Diddy, what is his net worth? Go look it up. Diddy's gay as fuck. Diddy's gay, bro. Period. He like, he like not only gay, he's like a versatile gay type dude. So like, that boy's gay. So like, go look at his net worth. And then look at y'all's. Like, look at y'all's, bro. Like. There is nothing in this industry that comes without a, a price behind it, bro. And it, and it has a lot of shit that's like so deep into a rabbit hole. If I talked about it, YouTube wouldn't even promote this shit. Like, like I can't tell y'all about this shit. Y'all gotta figure this shit out yourself. But listen, if y'all worried about gay people and y'all homophobic, bro, hip hop's the wrong industry to be in, bro. Cause behind closed doors, bro, this shit's crazy, man. It's crazier than what y'all even think. Even y'all's favorites, like the gangster ones, like. Like, who's the most gangster rapper in, in Texas right now? Like, who are we gonna credit for? Like, you're gonna say they ain't done compromising things, they ain't some type of, there's always that. But 
As long as they shining, bro, we're going to keep it backed up. I'm not shining like them, bro, so they ain't keep it backed up. I don't care what y'all think of me, but at the end of the day, if you're a homophobic, you don't like gay people, get the fuck out of hip-hop, bro. Go be, a guy. Go be a fucking country star, bro. Go. What would you say to people that are saying <laughs> that you, uh, you're doing a bunch of cloud chasing right now? Uh, look, at the end of the day, I don't mean most of the shit I say when I'm doing like all the crazy shit. It's only because it helps my streams. Like y'all listen to my music more when I talk shit. I get on this bottle, I start talking shit. Y'all listen to my music more. I don't know, I just want y'all to listen to my music, bro. Am I wrong for that? Am I wrong for that? Like, I just want y'all to listen to my music, bro. So I be on there trolling, doing whatever, like. But that don't mean that I'm not authentic about what I mean. Like, I'm a, I'm a star, but I'm a shine either way. I just want y'all to listen to my music. Like, go streaming right now. What the fuck are we doing? Like, that's the whole point of it. It's like marketing. It's like, I've, I've studied this shit. Like, I'm about, to, I'm about to, like, take this shit so serious to where, like, Y'all don't understand now, but y'all will. You know what I mean? So I'm not a troll. I'm a real dude that's trolling. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm not uh, associated with certain people that are associated with certain things in the city. Like, y'all got me fucked up if I'm not. Like, I am associated with the same ones that y'all claim make y'all gangster, bro. I am in the same organizations, bro. So, like, how, how much can you really discredit me, bro? Like, if I pull up, if I lock a seat with one of your, your OGs, bro, like, how much can you discredit me, bro? Like, y'all just like don't understand shit because like hip hop, it's the wrong industry for y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause y'all are all just like be open minded to the fact that nothing is like you weird niggas, bro. Like y'all niggas are so worried about everybody and and muscle suits. Like, bro, I swear to God, this is 21. This is like, uh, what is that shit? What is that fucking album that 50 Cent came out with? Uh, what's the first album he came out with? That yeah. fucking massacre shit, like. Y'all look like them nowadays. That's how buff y'all be on the pictures, nigga. Y'all need like suits and everything, bro. Bulletproof vests, bro. Y'all are not all that gangster, bro. Y'all don't gotta be that, bro. Like, give your boyfriend a kiss. Duh. <laughs> like, <laughs> but nah, I'm just kidding with y'all. But like, the difference between a pansexual and a homophobe or a homosexual person and a pansexual means that you like any hole, bro. If you're a pansexual, you like this. Look. Bro, my shit gotta be like kind of slim, bro. I gotta slide through that shit right. It gotta be wet, bro. So I don't know. I don't. I don't consider myself pansexual, but if it's a pan, I'm flipping the omelet. Then I am pansexual. Fuck it. But I don't know about all that shit. If anything, it's bisexual, right? I don't like trannies. Trannies are weird to me. So pansexual. <laughs> omelet. <laughs> so um, omelet, nigga. Omelet. Is is the Lubbock scene? And not just the music scene, but is there a, a larger Lubbock scene for this? For what? Like, what do you mean by that? This? Say this like as it's like, what do you mean by this? <laughs> the, as, as far the, as the, 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 a the gay sexually, movement, a gay movement of some sort. Okay, the gay movement or sexually trend, um, the sexually fluid. This is where I want everybody to know. I'm the first artist in Lubbock to be like awesome, bro. People out here know me when I was 15, kicking doors, doing all this gangster shit, bro. But at the same time, I support anybody's lifestyle, bro. All right, if you got that going on for yourself, bro, I am the first rapper to embrace this shit. Everybody's so scared to do that shit. Like, ask any of the top fives to go do some gay shit like that. They're not going to even talk about it. They're not even going to talk about it. But, like, listen, if you are you, bro, the gay, bro, you know how much followers I got out of the LGBT community? Bro, that shit's helping me win right now. You Either or, no matter what the fuck I do at the end of the night, it's helping me win and y'all are all like, I love y'all, bro. Y'all be yourself, bro. Y'all fucking be yourself, bro. I'm not no gangster rapper, bro. I am an artist that's trying to change the world and change the way you perceive it, bro. Period. That's how I want shit to be. Like, if I die today, I'm, not, I'm misunderstood, bro. Period. I'm misunderstood. Jack on the yak is misunderstood. Y'all think I'm supposed to be that guy, but I'm not that guy, y'all. Uh, I'm a human, bro. Period. I'm human. Can I say anything less about it? Like, I mean, you know what I mean, bro? I have mistakes. I have flaws. I'm misunderstood about everything that's going on in my life. Nothing's wrong with that, bro. You don't have to be on point to be gangster. You don't have to be on point mentally to be the one that's on top. Like, bro, I've been through a lot of scenarios in life where I wasn't the one that was paying attention the most, but somehow I'm still alive, bro. Like, bro, quit worrying about me that much, bro. Like, I just want to be in the game. Richard Pryor richer than you, bro. Why? My music better than you too. Period. But other than that, like I fuck with everybody that's doing shit and hating on me. 
Like, I love y'all, bro. Just don't mention me in this shit, bro, because I'm tired of people tagging me about it. <laughs> you know? Like, for real, bro. Like, we all kick it, we flirt, we kiss, do all that shit. They're not my girlfriend, but, like, they be in y'all's videos. So, am I really that gay? Like, and if I was, bro, does that discredit me? That's the question I got to ask y'all. It's like, does that discredit me from being a better artist than some of the people y'all support just because of their gangster personas? Like, bro, I'm over that whole, I'm not a gangster no more, bro. I'm not nothing like that, bro. I'm the person that wants to change y'all's life for the best. I just want people to, like, to, like, feel themselves and feel like they have the rights to be themselves, bro. So, like, if what you label me as is what you label me as, bro. But, like.